All right, all right, we're back again. So uh, today we're gonna probably be picking this motor up and dropping it on in. So that's pretty exciting. I'm excited about that because it it's it's been good to have this thing back on the road. So yesterday, I'm trying to think what I did yesterday after I closed it up. I didn't do a lot. I, I double checked the routing on all my vacuum lines. Found some bolts for the resonator box. Uh, torqued everything down. Got the starter installed. I think I did that on camera actually. But yeah, I didn't do a lot. I, I just got a few things wrapped up. I did get the um, rear mount uh, tightened down and the front mount tightened down. <sighs> got the wire harness bolted back up on the back here. Got the bad boy put on there. So, yeah, that's what we did. So the next step we're going to do is um, drop her in today. I think that's what we're going to do is drop it in. Um, I have been looking at possibly getting a new downpipe. This thing is really bad. It's rusted completely out on the backside here where you can't see. This is completely rusted out. This thing is rotting away. I have a new gasket and I was planning to just replace it, but... Um, that may not work um, so I may have to replace this uh, portion of it seeing if there's anything that's rattling doesn't seem like it's rattling but uh, yeah it's rusting out and it could leak um, so if it leaks I'll replace it if not I'm not gonna spend the 50 extra bucks to get that little part I might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else but anyway Right now, cars are costing me a lot of money between this project and the uh, Dirty Max needing a coolant flush. <sighs> thing takes a lot of everything. So, heavy duty equates to heavy price tag. Alright guys, so we're going to get started. Get this thing lifted up. And if all looks correct, I'm going to lift it up, make sure everything looks correct. I didn't miss a bolt or miss anything. I don't think I did, but just double check it. And make sure everything's copacetic and then uh, if everything looks right set her on in here um, get her bolted in and and uh, get going so all right guys I will see you on the flip side All right, guys, uh, I want to welcome you back to another Vite More Sports production. So this is actually going to be a tag along to the last video because I my batteries died while I was in the middle of this. So I'm hoping that footage didn't get completely lost. Um, otherwise, it came from a nuclear explosion. Well, you probably did anyway because I probably put one in. But uh, we did get the engine in. Hopefully, we you guys see that. Um, all the motor mounts are in and tightened up. Back one's a pain in the butt. We got that done. Um, practically everything is plugged in. Uh, we do have to extend these two. These go to this. These two dudes. The one we moved over to add in. To, it's plugged up, but it's just going to be there to keep the uh, ECU happy. And then this one, which actually operates this, I can't remember which system this is, but it's one of the it's cold air flappers. 
co so um, yeah so we have to extend these luckily the engine came with a wire harness so we will uh, go ahead and pull some of this wire out for these guys and uh, add it to these two to get them plugged in so we have to do that today along with just the standard you know you just get everything plugged back up and put back on and this that and the other thing you get the axles on I still have to plug in plug in the starter and the alternator and get the axles on and the radiator in battery in mm -hmm. there's still quite a bit to do today so when we got to bleed we'll have to bleed what, what do we have to bleed? the clutch has to be bled we'll have to add oil and coolant yeah and the power steering is full but it'll have to be bled out so yeah so still quite a bit to do so we're gonna get underneath it first and get the starter and alternator plugged in before we get the axles in the, that'll be in the way then we'll double check where we're at with what's plugged in and what's not plugged in and then what I don't know. I know there's plenty still to do, but what? But what did I do last night? I'm trying to think what I did. Like I said, I plug stuff in. You probably didn't see me do any of that. Got the power steering pump hooked up. Got the AC hooked back up. I got the. Um, so if anybody's doing this swap, this made me nervous. Can you see in there? Barely. Let's see if we can put a flashlight on it. There you go. Throttle cable. So this throttle cable, come find out, is adjustable. So I adjusted it out practically all the way. And um, that made it where the throttle will close. Because it wouldn't close before. So it was kind of wide. It was open. I was like, well, that's not going to run right. But yeah, now it shuts all the way. We don't have to worry about it. So that's nice. Oh, we gotta full, fill the transaxle too. So much to do. So yeah, we're gonna get started, and we're gonna knock out the stuff that's hidden and hard to get to first, and then uh, start working on the easy kills. Get the cruise control down, all that stuff. Cool. All right, guys, that's a pretty long intro. So we're gonna get to it. See you on the flip side.
All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna get to see if we can fire this thing up. Here we go. All right, guys, that's, oh, seven minutes. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave it there so you get, you don't have to watch me uh, fill the radiator up. But yeah, everything looks really good. Um, it seems to have a harder time starting. I'm assuming that's the higher compression pistons. Um, it might be that battery too. That battery might be bad. It just stinks. So it might need a new battery, but you know what? We can deal with that. But right now she's running. So I can now start working on uh, Got to get the hood on tomorrow and headlights in it because it has bath headlights and uh, we can go from there. All right, guys. Till tomorrow. Peace.